I'm James West. My guest today is Jared Laserson. He's the CEO of MGX Minerals, trading on the CSE under the symbol XMG. Jared, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, James. Jared, let's start with an overview of the patent that governs your lithium processing technology. Last week, we filed a U.S. provisional patent, which preserves the rights globally for one year, uh, during which time we can determine which countries are relevant to uh, apply for full patent protection. Uh, in effect, that will give us 20 years of uh, exclusivity to our rapid production process for the extraction of lithium from salt brine, uh, effectively giving us a monopoly over uh, rapid production and oil field. Okay, conceptually now, what is the target rate of processing that you hope to achieve on a per cubic meter of water basis and also on an annual production of lithium basis? Uh, basically, we're targeting blocks of a million barrels per day equivalent. Uh, this would be the equivalent to a large producing natural gas or oil field. A key with the patent and with the technology is that it eliminates the solar evaporation process common in brine. There are no other technologies out there at this time that reduce or eliminate this evaporation process. So it traditionally takes 18 months in South America or in the desert in Nevada. We've now reduced potentially down to a single day. And this is really what the patent and the cornerstone of the patent is, that this is a rapid production process, also allowing us to scale up and scale down as market opportunities present themselves. Mm -hmm. So now, is this process based on membrane filtration, or is it based on rapid evaporation or a chemical reagent reaction? What is, the, what is the nature of the process? Well, the short answer is all of the above. We've just entered into an acquisition agreement with Pure Lucid Treatment Solutions. They have their own patented nanoflotation and filtration technologies. One of the key technologies that they control is a membrane technology that allows for, uh, basically what they do is they specialize in coatings. So what can happen is that, with traditional membranes, is that they clog up. Well, this technology that Pure Lucid has uh, allows for uh, exchanging of the filters but instead of replacing the filter itself, essentially a coating is replaced, almost like a wax paper or a filter on the, on the filter itself, which allows for uh, a, a much, much more efficient process. That's patented, that's on the front end. That part of the pilot plant is now complete. So the nanoflotation removes the heavy metals, uh, the oil, the colloids, uh, in addition to the membrane filtration, and then it goes into the rapid evaporation process that you mentioned, which utilizes uh, both thermal energy in terms of evaporation, as well as chemical reagents in order to crystallize the various minerals. Hmm. Great. Um, how soon do you plan to start that commercial level of production where you're actually producing 15,000 uh, tons per year of lithium carbonate from a million cubic or a million barrels of oil per day. Sure, that would be a 2018 goal. Mm -hmm. We're looking for initial commercial production uh, as early as June of 2017, and then we will ramp from there. The solution is modular and scalable. So when we talk about these large targets, for example, a million barrels a day, that wouldn't start out as a million barrels a day. That might start out at 100,000 barrels a day, or even a smaller type unit to allow us to generate cash flow and not have to constantly be in a capital trap where we constantly have to raise or borrow money for each unit, but that each unit essentially pays for the next unit, and that's the plan to get to the uh, initial million barrels a day. There's a number of locations that would support that uh, throughout North America. Hmm. Fascinating, Jared. Let's leave it there for now. We'll come back to you in a short while and see how you're making out. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, James.